popcorn. Mmm. a look okay I got this a little bit up higher so that we can see everything this is basically beauty products and things that I need to wash up at night in the morning or just you know freshen up during the day um, things that are for beauty teeth and cleaning I keep it right here so all I have to do is pull it out easy access the reason i have it here in the middle at the bottom is because it just it's when i'm sitting here like at night or in the morning i can just pull it out easy to get i don't have to stretch way over to get it makes it easier this i have two containers this one is let's see this is basically face products I got two of the two different sizes. It's facial moisturizing lotion and it's um, SPF 30. Now, this is what I used for my face. Now, this is sunscreen. Now, I use this. This is sunblock. This is, this is a mineral face sunblock. And basically, this is non-toxic, whereas these have a lot of chemicals in them. So I'm using these sparingly, but I will use it up. Eventually, these will be gone, and I will not replace these. I just happen to have these, and I could transfer one into the other container, get rid of one, but, you know, I'm just going to use them up. I got different things. This is a... CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Some of you ask what I use on my face. Well, this is one of them. It was recommended by Dr. Dre, the dermatologist, our YouTube dermatologist. Yeah, Dr. Dre. And it's not the rapper, Dre, <laughs> not that, yeah. Uh, I remember, I remember. My daughter listened to him a lot, yeah. So, you put the lid on this. take these off this is a container I keep all of my tooth products in Colgate I don't like to use fluoride fluoride is not good for you unbeknownst to what a lot of you might believe and really do firmly believe in move that Fluoride destroys the pineal gland, and it's very important, <laughs> your pineal gland. Yes, um, I won't go into it. Maybe another uh, video, I'll go into what the pineal gland does for you. But this does destroy the pineal gland, fluoride. I don't like to use fluoride, and I probably need to get back to using, like, um, a non-fluoride toothpaste, which when I was living in a people house, I did. Um, I, there's... Over the past years, yeah, I've kind of gotten away from doing certain things and using certain products. But I feel the tide turning a little bit and I get back into doing that. I don't know why I went back to Florida, but this is a whitener because coffee uh, tends to uh, discolor teeth. Now, <laughs> also, when I lived in a people house... Um, my daughter and I did this. A lot of people do it. Some people laugh about it. But we had those glass straws. And we had a little brush that we could clean it with. 
And when you drink coffee out of a, a glass straw, it puts it more towards the back of your back of your mouth, away from your teeth. So I'm thinking I'm going to order another one of those. Um, why, why glass? Because if you're going to have plastic straw in a hot um, drink, it will, you know, uh, it could release toxins from the plastic. So I got this. That's a side note. Get that ready. Now, AIM, yeah, I know. It's got fluoride in it. I try not to. It does go into your mucous membrane cells, so even if you don't swallow it, yeah. I've got a regular toothbrush, and then I've got my uh, electric toothbrush. Uh, USB charge. I charge it up when it gets low, and yeah, yeah. Okay. That's it for the teeth. Although down in here, I do have a bit more. Here we go. So usually at night or in the morning, I can just grab these and I take them out. Yeah. And then I set them here and I use them and then I put them back in here. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. What's in here? Um, I, I do like this. It's Gold Bond Healing lotion. I don't have a big one. It's kind of expensive, but um, I do like this. I've bought this over and over, so I must really like this. Yeah. I've got my skin so soft. Actually, it's about down to here. I've been using a lot of this. Probably want to order it again. I got this on Amazon. Skin so soft. It's an original by Avon. And I was told that this will keep mosquitoes off of you. I'm not really one for getting bit up by mosquitoes in the first place. Um, and I'm not really in an area where there's a lot of mosquitoes. I know there are a lot of them are back east, although they do have, um, there were mosquitoes in, uh, Tucson when I was there, but I haven't had any mosquitoes on me. I don't know if this is the reason why. This I don't use so much anymore. Um, Aquaphor. Advanced therapy for dry, cracked, and irritated skin. This is really good for your feet if you tend to get cracked feet. I don't, per se. And I think it's because every night and every morning, I lotion up my feet. I think that keeps them from, you know, the heels. It looks like um, they're made of cement. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that going on, yeah. Uh, and they crack up, and then eventually it just looks so horrible. But this will help. Uh, put this on at night good for your hands and I had to get this for my cuticles when I was in quartzite my cuticles just they just cracked I don't I think it was the wind and the sand and the cold yeah so this helps this is bare this is the also the mineral mineral sunblock kind of expensive but I use this for my body because this is so small. I keep this inexpensive. I keep it for my face only. And this is the under Cetaphil. This is the other uh, mineral sunblock I got. Uh, Cetaphil. This is only 30, but it's a sheer mineral sunblock. It says sunscreen. It's really a sunblock. It's a mineral. Um, they're using um, nanoparticles of zinc oxide. And what it does is it's the sun will come in and it'll just bounce right back off. It can't penetrate. Whereas sunscreen, it can get in your, it can actually penetrate you. This is a sunblock. Okay. I'm a floss girl. I just put, I opened it up and put these in a baggie. Yeah. Um, I keep these, I keep one of them in my little pouch at all times. I um, am very adverse to like food in my, between my teeth. I don't like it. So, and then I've got one parked over here. I've got one up there if I'm driving and I might be uh, traveling and I might be dipping into like I don't know, peanuts or while I'm driving. Um, if food is in my teeth, I do have one up there that I can kind of like clean out my teeth. Yeah. And then, of course, I've got these. I do, um, I mean, I will say it. I don't care. 
uh, I do. Uh, I have two uh, upper partial and a lower partial because I'm older. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as uh, when I was a single mom, I had a couple teeth pulled instead of taken care of. Uh, money wise, uh, dental work is so expensive. And especially now they're actually saying, well, only, only, only the rich will be able to have good teeth. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, and so my teeth kind of shifted. So yes, I do wear a couple partials. Yeah. So I keep these, you know, uh, cleaners. I do carry this. I'd only use this when I'm really out boondocking. This is a, a, um, a water pick. I've shown this a few times for you that have already seen it. It's USB. I have a special USB that goes in here. It's really special. I have never seen another one like it. So I'm really careful to make sure that I keep everything perfect for this so I can keep it. Yeah. So what you do with this is you put water in here, close it up, put the pick on, and there's three different speeds for it. Oh, that turns the speed. And then, yeah. <laughs> That's high. So you're outside and you can water pick your teeth. Really good for your teeth. But the only problem is, is it, it's, um, it can, one, one little movement and it'll shoot up. That's why I don't do it inside my minivan. And so a lot of times I use this when I'm out boondocking. Oh, one of you asked me a question. And then there's a little button. You push it in and then this comes off. So I keep this. And uh, I do like it. It's really better for your teeth than even the uh, flossers. But I did have somebody ask me yesterday. Well, what do you do when you're out boondocking um, miles away from a road, a paved road? How do people come and... Uh, I'll pull you out if you had any car trouble. Uh, no. <laughs> Me? No. I don't go miles and miles into BLM land. I don't do that. I just don't. Some people do. Nah. That's not me. If I boondock, I'm pretty close to a, uh, I don't go deep in. So, yeah. Like when I'm in Quartzsite, whoops, I'm pretty close to a road. Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking of somebody else. <laughs> I don't do that. Now, this is... Oh, this... Oh, <laughs> okay. This leaked out. Look at this. This is my... And it look at it hardened up to like... <laughs> it's... um. This was uh, a clear coating for your nails. Well, this is goner. We'll get rid of that one and it might be all over this one too yeah it got on this too this is my buffing it has four sides to it really nice i may need to i'll put it on my list of things to get i'll get a new one of this yeah and it's getting older anyway so we'll get rid of that so i do have that now here all of my band-aids fell out this is just for my band-aids I only usually get one size of band-aids. These are the size I get. If you, if I would get a box of uh, assorted sizes, I never use them. <laughs> I never use the little ones. And the big ones, I do have a few big ones here. But if I do cut myself or something gets cut, I do put a band-aid on it right away. I really do. Um, yeah some smaller ones and then i carry triple antibiotic ointment it actually might be time to get a new one of these two i just keep it this is uh i just keep it in a little baggie you know i'm a baggy girl yeah. now things that are in here are things that i haven't used in a while but i don't want to get rid of what's in here am i going to get uh l'oreal um, true match. Yeah. Didn't really like this. Uh, razors. No. Put a new one in my shower bag. This is a lipstick. Not overly my best color. But 
this is um some makeup probably could give it those are unnecessary things i do have a large thing of q-tips but i keep little q-tips in little bags so i don't have to get in the big one And some handy wipes. Handy wipes. Okay, we'll put these back in. This is one of those uh, lunch meat containers, a Walmart brand. And I just, what I do is I like to have a couple of these around. And I just washed it, you know, and keep it. And you put little things in it. Okay, what else? Well, tea tree oil. I keep it in here in case it it tips over and uh, I don't want to run out. Although it seals pretty good, but I just keep it in a baggie. And then I just put it in here. Alpha hydroxy. It comes in a dropper. I just drop it into my hand. At night, I put this on. I rub it and put it on my face. And then with it, this is... It came together. Alpha hydroxy lotion. This is pure serum and this is lotion. Alpha hydroxy will help remove um, spots and blemishes. It clears your skin up. It's an acid, alpha hydroxy acid. And it's a natural. Uh, I've always found alpha hydroxy to work well. And these two, I did get. They came together and I got it in Amazon. So, yeah. This is another CeraVe Skin Generating Gel Oil. Um, I spent money for it. I wasn't overly happy with it. Um, the way that it made my skin feel, especially like at night, I don't wouldn't want oil to get all over my pillowcases. But I keep it, and I figure maybe it'll be good for like. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it comes. It's like a. Let's see put it here <laughs> yeah i could use it for my body during the day kind of oh makes it shine a little bit of shine going on here yeah where's it on my hands okay we've all seen this this is brute <laughs> i know i love it i just love it yeah my um I'm a widow. My husband uh, wore this brood. This is from like the, the 70s. <laughs> I love it. Keep it around. Um, I tell the story. I was at uh, Jungle Gyms. And he, they had they have everything there. If, if you've seen the video on Jungle Gyms in Cincinnati. Uh, I was at, And I they had a bottle here. And I go, ooh. It, it, it wasn't in a package. So I could smell it. And I go, oh my gosh. And I... I, I took it to my dad. And I said, what's this smell like? She goes, oh my gosh, it sounds like my dad. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, I'm buying this, yeah. Um, this is, I've seen this, shown this too. This is like, it's on the outside of it too. It's a taboo. Remember the uh, violin or the, the cello or something, the violin um, package. They still sell it in this little package. Yeah. Oh, taboo, yeah. I love it. My favorite cologne is, well, <laughs> that's not true anymore. My favorite, oh my gosh. Have any of you ever smelled Prada? It's a men's, uh, it's a men's cologne. Prada, ugh. Prada. It's expensive, it's like $80, $90, woo! But yeah, um, colognes, good colognes are expensive now. And uh, that's really my favorite. But before that was um, White Shoulders. This is just a orange uh, juice bottle that I use um, to spit out my um, when I brush my teeth. And especially at night. Um, I do empty this out or I just get a new one. Uh, I just get a new one. And uh, at night, I don't want to be spitting out in anything. I, and that way I can close it up put it in here and then rinse it out, clean it out, or just get a new one. This is my Listerine. It's a smaller bottle. What I do is I have down here, I have a big bottle of, I think it's a Quate, but it's equal to what Listerine would be, the same color. 
And I just refill this when it gets low because this fits in here. I don't want to have this big bottle. And it's cheaper to buy the big. So, and then what is this? This is hyaluronic acid. This is pure hyaluronic acid. What I, this is very important to all of you, men and women. Don't, do, this isn't just for girls. This is a skin. This is your skin. And it should be taken care of, male, female, whatever. <laughs> or whatever <laughs> gender you are, you know. There's so many now. Um, but this is for your uh, human skin. As opposed to alien skin. <laughs> I don't know. But what this is, is I use this every morning. It's a little expensive. It comes in a dropper. It's kind of thick, sort of. And after I wash my face, when it's still, after I rinse it, and it's still damp, not dripping wet, but damp, I put a dropper on my hand, and I rub it in, and then it goes all over. If there's any left over, I go, and I'll, and I just, it's expensive, so I use it until it's all gone off my hands. Most of my face, what it does is it seals in moisture for the day. For the day. Yes, you need moisture on your face. You need moisture on your skin. After I do that, I sometimes I just go ahead and when this completely dries, um, then I put this on or I'll put a lotion on and then this. So, and it, you know, either way. This can turn, this can leave your skin a little white. And a lot of times, uh, and it, it doesn't spread out. This is a mineral. It doesn't spread out the same way that, per se, like my sunscreen would. My CeraVe sunscreen. So sometimes I like to put a layer of the moisturizer on and then put this on and it'll smooth out a little bit better. So, Okay, well, that's what's in here. And I just keep these... I keep these here against, let me get this off. So I put everything back exactly where I had it before. That way when I reach in, I know what I'm reaching for. Okay. And I keep things at the bottom that I don't use as often. So these I can put here. And then over here, I put this at the bottom because I don't use it as often. In fact, not too much at all. Um, in the city. And then I lay my lotions on top of here. Let's see, put, I don't use this very often, so I'll put that at the bottom. And these I use a lot. There we go. This is my beauty so when i'm sitting here at night or in the morning i can just pull this out pull this out because i know i'm going to use these brush my teeth do my face and then i can just reach in here and grab my my hyaluronic acid Okay, so that's what's in here. This one is important also. Let's see this. Beauty. So this is also non-food things. It's kind of messy. So I'm going to just straighten it up while I'm here. Washcloths. I do use washcloths because if you use wipes for cleaning your body, like at night, and that goes for like dude um, wipes too. It, Dr. Dre has confirmed it. What it does is it leaves a trace, microscopic traces of the tissue. on, And, it, you know, you don't want that on your body to be clogging your pores. And then it's going to get on your sheets and, and pillowcases, things like that. So I use, when I wash up my body and my face, I use a washcloth. I don't mind carrying them. They're not heavy, but I do carry a supply so that I can change them every day. Okay. 
this I've shown this before this is from Japan somebody gave it to me it's really wonderful it's for your jewelry it's for traveling and um when I left my people house I thought this is perfect I've just got uh jewelry in here some things I'm just not willing I don't wear often but I'm not willing to give it up yeah like a nice pin that I had usually with this pin when I have a beret I usually put it on my beret um yeah pretty cool looking here's where um my earrings go it's got little holes in it that I can put my earrings in Don't forget about the book, How to Live in a Minivan. Live and learn, huh? I should have put those in black letters. That was my first design. <laughs> Next time, yeah. Um, the Minivan Leeway. Yes. That's me. You know that. Yeah. There's my minivan. Yeah. It's got good information in here. And it's not just about getting started as a nomad, although it is, but there's also good information about being a nomad, uh, information that's really going to be useful once you get going too. So yeah, and there's lots of lists in here. That's a big deal that I've listed things for you. And it's from A to Z, how to get started and organize everything up so you can get on the road and get everything that you need to live a good, comfortable life and a fun life. Because this does look fun, I know. And it is fun. I'm not just making it look like fun. It is fun. Now, I also have my stickers. This is a sticker. This is the size of it. And I have these. This is a limited edition. I have a few left. But I also have my magnets. This is a li <laughs> limited edition magnet and it sticks. My friends have told me it's still hanging on. Yes, I have one on my minivan too and it's hanging on. This is a limited edition with the flag. Yeah. Now this one is the purple. It is a magnet, but I also have the sticker. Um, just like this it's a sticker in two sizes and then this is the other magnet and this also comes in two sizes of stickers so i'll go to minivanlee.com and order it it's just right there go minivanlee.com or minivan lee.com i own both domains and it's a secure site for ordering. Just scroll down just a tad. And there's some buttons there that you can order these from. And I'll get it out personally to you. I will send it to you personally. And have everything right in here to get it going. And I put in a little personal note for you. Put in a couple extra little stickers that I have. And yeah, um, I mail it off to you with some love inside. Yeah. So I got the book and I got the stickers and I got the magnets. Now, if you want to order from Amazon, please use my links. It's in the video description down here. Also have a storefront and the, um, the address, the link for that is in the video description. If you want to actually look at what um, you're thinking about ordering. Now, if you use my links for Amazon and you go in, it's like going into Amazon and you start looking around at other things that you might want. I'll still get a little bit of commission off of even if you don't buy the actual product that is for the link. Yeah. Now, um, I, it doesn't cost you anything. There's no extra charge for it. It's just Amazon uh, rewards me for uh, bringing you in to Amazon. Yes, they do reward me. It's not a lot, but for each, um, if you do, everybody does it. If they're ordering something and you follow me, it does add up. So as long as you leave it in the cart, no more than 24 hours, I will get a commission. If it's in there longer, I don't get anything. So I ask that you take it out of your cart when you're ready and then go back in through my link and order it again and put it in your cart and order it. Yeah. So, you know, that does really help me. Now, 
uh, the Facebook group. Go on in and don't be afraid of Facebook. Um, everybody's going in there. I'm, it's so exciting. And you have easier access to me. And uh, there's a lot of questions and answers going on. And you can talk to me. Um, a lot of you leave me messages in Facebook Messenger. And uh, so we can talk back and forth. So that's what I got to say about that. And that's all I got to say about that as far as Gump would say. Uh, please subscribe. It really helps me. And give me a thumbs up. I love that. And thanks for watching it all the way through. I love you guys. I really do. And I appreciate everything you do for me. And you're watching my videos. And and I think you're gaining uh, something from it. And I hope you're learning things. Or you're just being entertained or laughing at things that um, I do or say. Uh, I love if I make you laugh or if I comfort you in any way. That's just a plus for you and for me. And I love it. So I love you. You guys have a really good day. Bye.